I've seen some things on Twitter basically that have kind of led me back to that inspiring, um, motivated kind of sense of self. And this one video is what I wanted to show you um, of this video of this dude, 70 year old man who's effectively running a two, uh, an under three hour marathon, which is insane, right? I think he's 70 something. It's fucking insane. I'll just see this video quick. I just see this video just now on, uh, on the older Twitter space. I absolutely love Twitter. I'm not sure why I haven't been on Twitter before. Um, I've kind of I've kind of diverted all my attention off of Instagram and on Twitter, but I love Twitter, man. It's, it's super cool. You get some good um, little, you know, you get you get cool, funny little videos. You get some interesting articles that you can read. It's actually quite informative. Obviously, I, I think I'm lucky because I haven't really followed toxic or problematic people who are constantly, you know, fighting people online and shit. So it's been pretty all right for me, but I quite enjoy the experience, obviously, of using Twitter for the most part. I've not really had a any bad experiences so far famous last words but hopefully it continues anyway this is a video from um runner's world i'm going to quickly put up here on the screen so you guys can see and then we'll talk about it a little bit you guys playing boom boom, boom. So this video here this dude is 70 years old and ran a two two hour five and a three hour marathon which is an insane goal to have but let's look at the video a bit of it now i'm having a blast running every day's a new adventure wow Gene Dykes has been running for six decades. <laughs> Fucking hell. We usually do about 1,300 miles of races a year. Wow. And, uh, close to 3,000, including training. Wow. Last year, I did 43 races in 40 weekends. Wow. Actually, I told my wife when I retired, I, you know, I'm not going to run all the time. I already run as much as I could. That's amazing. So he retired and then just basically ramped up his running when he's got more time with time. People, that's why, that's the thing I've always admired, actually. Like, um you know, older, older people who kind of retire instead of just sit, because I, I guess it must be difficult because he said he's been running for six decades. So I imagine he's been a career athlete most of his life. Right. So he doesn't really know anything else but, but running. So um, it's maybe um, it's not as much of a strain on his mind as it is most people. But there is something take away the running. There is something about um, there is something about retirement that sort of changed over the years. I remember, you know, when we were younger or just in general society, maybe retirement was this idea of going over to Turks and Caicos or the Caribbean or, you know, somewhere in Mexico or wherever it may be and just like lounging on a lounge chair somewhere, smoking a cigar and chilling out. That's one vision of it, which doesn't sound too bad. But I guess the other side of it as well is the idea of like doing the things that you actually enjoy all the time, like, you know, more or just like cranking up the time, uh, cranking up the, the stuff that you enjoy, like time wise, and then leaving the other stuff that you don't enjoy to the side. That's what I, I'd want to do in retirement, right? You've got loads of time on your hands. You've made the money. Your kids are all grown up now, moved out and living their life. Well, what, what, why wouldn't you do that, right? There's no point. Um, what's the point in living if you're just going to sit around until the day that you kind of leave this earth you might as well kind of go out on a bang that's what i would imagine and this is just a really good way to go out running fucking a thousand miles over every race like shit i was so wrong he averages 40 to 45 to 60 miles a week which is much more than i average i average what at the moment because i'm running quite often so it's a bit different but i think before when i was especially it's hard for me to do it though because i don't necessarily run yeah i can't really say because i don't necessarily run conventional running programs my running program really is about um building up strength and cardio vascular endurance it's a different model of running it's not about putting in miles it's more so just about uh being an efficient runner but that being said because i'm making up mad excuses <laughs> um the last week can you show why can't i just show weeks that's the annoying thing about this run thing and it just shows months but anyway, let's say I've not got for the whole month of April, I ran 23 miles anyway. So it's not even close to anything that he ran. And then February was 17 and uh, January was 27. So, yeah, it's not even anything close to what he ran already. Wow. So I'm really running a lot more this month because I've got those big runs in, in it. So I did. Yeah, he's, he's, he's already smashing me. Some people are surprised at it so much. And some people are surprised that I run so little each week. Of course, a month ago, I, I hit a 230-mile week. Wow. That was all just one race. Wow. Yeah, Dyke loves the competitive side of the racing. And I guess I love that too. I guess that's the only thing that really gives you a goal. I knew, and there was a time, I think I mentioned it quite often to my friends, there was a time when I was training quite often, when I was like really at my peak condition, which I'm trying to get back to now. At the moment, I'm about 223 um, pounds, which is good. I'm really happy. I've lost about eight pounds over the time. So I'm, I'm, on, I'm on course to to hit under 220 by next week which would be fucking heavenly because whenever i hit under 220 that's when you can really see the 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 kind of um weight loss already i can see it kind of on my face here i can already feel my cheekbones but from 220 underneath i'm going to start feeling real big differences and obviously my times will kind of speed up 
But when I was really on my peak, and I think I was down to about, I don't know, let's say 15 stone, right? Is that about 15 stone? Let me go into my unit measure and just double check. I think it was 15 stone. So let's say I was, um, let's say I was 186, right? Where is that in stone? Yeah, about, oh, fucking hell. I was 13 stone. Now I'm what? 15. So yeah, I've got about two, two stones left to lose. But yeah, when I was 13 stone, I was running often. I remember one time I was running out on the streets one day, I think after work, and I was just like, a, you know, a weird thought just popped in my head. Like, what are you doing? Where are you running from? Like, just a little thought in my head. And I guess, of course, that's kind of, you know, the resistance or whatever it may be. But it, it did come during a time where I was just running month after month, just like, just, just pounding at the miles. And essentially what I got down to thinking was that, like, ah, what I'm not doing is that I'm doing that thing that people don't do is that when you run often, you should always schedule a race whether it's a race every month or a race every week, just to give you something to aim for, just to keep, and then also to keep you disciplined because I always, because I felt, especially towards the end, I was kind of, you know, slacking off a bit because I didn't really have a goal of what I was doing. I was just running for the sake of running, right? I didn't really have anything that I was getting into. And I think that kind of correlated with just when I was starting to kind of, you know, get popping in the whole Dawson scene and become a little bit more popular in that little social circle. So the need to run, the need to be doing those things was kind of waning and then the kind of social life was kind of increasing. Again, which is, you know, back to where I was kind of come from now and the things I'm trying to correct. So having those races is super, super important in terms of like keeping you focused, I think. And just get back to this, get back to Dykes. Oh, what's happened to Dykes? No. Why can I, I retire? I, I run so little each week. Of course, a month ago, I, I hit a 230 mile week. Uh, that was all just one race. This guy is awesome. I love him already, man. He's my friend. I love this. I love Dykes. Dykes loves competitive side running. He hired a coach five years ago. Oh, awesome. I'd always resist the hiring of coach because he's going to tell you how to run. Who doesn't know how to run? <laughs> Obviously, I'm getting old. If I want to get a new PR, I'll have to take a chance. He's trying to get a new PR at 75 years old. 70 years old. Mamma mia. Dykes knocked 35 minutes off his marathon time. Wow. Wow. Congratulations, Dykes. You fucking legend. I need to start running without headphones, too. I think that's what I'm missing out on. He's got good form, too, isn't it? Look at his form as he's running. Knees and arms and shoulders, hips look amazing. The condition he must be in is fucking incredible to run that much at that age. Um, again, yeah, I think I'm, I need to get into running without headphones too. That's my kind of limiting factor at the moment. I'm quite disciplined in it. I'm quite good. I'm a lot better than some people. I'll just have what I want. I'll just have what I want to listen to playing, and I won't skip it or miss it again. I won't mess around with stuff I'm going to play unless I'm hitting basically the last mile. I might want to put on like Playboy Carti R.I.P. That's my my go to kind of like ramp up song. But for the most part, I just stick to what is on my ears. But um, what's in my ears for the sake of it. But um, yeah, there might be something about running with my headphones that might actually help me going forward. This guy's awesome, isn't it? Dax otherwise simplifies his training. Don't do cross training, stretching, special diets, none of that stuff. Just I run. Tell people I just run. Yeah, there is there there is something uh, simple about that, isn't it? I remember a lot of people saying the same sort of thing, like you know, just run. All those other training bits are all important and really cool and stuff, whatever. The, uh, but the only way to get better at running is guess what? Running. Can't start till the GPS starts. Miles going cast. <laughs> Exactly, yeah. Keep myself right on pace. I set three marathon PRs last year. Wow. Five years ago, I would never have believed such a thing could happen. Wow. Dax broke free, free, the three hour barrier multiple times, right? That's what I said. Multiple times, what did I say? Dax broke the three hour mar the three hours multiple times. Jesus Christ, 2018. That's amazing. It was three times to be exact. Jesus Christ. He finished one in a PR of two hours, 54 minutes. The time was an unofficial world record. Wow. For someone that old, I'm assuming. The late Ed Whitlock holds the most seven plus age records. Even if I were to get my Jacksonville Marathon time uh, ratified as a world record, it would still be Ed Whitlock 35, Gene Dykes 1. <laughs> He's more proud of another accomplishment. I did a 200 mile race. August, September, and October. Two wow. Years. That's another part of my just run philosophy. Wow. I know whether or not I could actually run 200 miles 
month after month after month, uh, who knows? But you never know unless you try. If it gets to the point where I can't beat times anymore, I have my own personal metric that I keep for trail runs, which is the oldest known finisher. I have five or six or seven races now where uh, nobody older has ever finished the race. Of course, as I get older, that gets easier. My ultimate goal is to win the 120 age group in Boston some year. Wow. That is so cool, man. Again, so inspiring. And I guess when, 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 you, when you're in a funk that, like I was a couple of days ago or just, you know, whatever it may be, just in general in life, watching those kind of things put stuff into perspective, you know, just how long life is, how much time there is to do the things that you want to do. There's no rush. Life essentially is a marathon, you know, RIP, Nipsey Hustle, long live the great Nipsey. Um, life really is a marathon. It's not a sprint. Um, take every day as it comes and try and, and basically try and do your best with every day that you have available uh tomorrow isn't promise all that good stuff but yeah this is a, a amazing story gene dykes some runners world you can check it out i'm assuming on their youtube channel so probably on their twitter it's on their twitter too that's where i found it um and then the other thing that i thought was super inspiring was this video again on twitter of this absolute psycho um psycho known as fucking mick jagger right shaking his hip things and doing his fucking thing and try i think he's rehearsing or whatever maybe you're working out like look at this guy 75 years old wow wow <laughs> so cool no he is rehearsing i'm sorry rehearsing. that is fucking amazing no, isn't that fucking amazing how amazing this is? Mick Jagger doing this at 75 years old, rehearsing his whole songs. It's fucking amazing. It's so cool. It's him dancing in front of a mirror, rehearsing a song he's probably going to go do. Wow. So cool, man. So fucking cool. Really, really cool. I guess some people would argue that it maybe is easier for a Mick Jagger because, you know, he's essentially been a performer entertainer for you know the most of his life so he no, he doesn't know anything other than what he's doing right now but there is again something really admirable about being getting to that age and still still trying to hustle still trying to do your thing you don't need to man you're mick jagger man you could probably hire some kids to dance in front of you and still create a vibe you could probably do it sitting down and people still you know buy your tickets for another reunion tour of you like it's not really that much of an important thing but you know for him personally, I guess it's something that he wants to do and, you know, he's doing it. He's fucking...